24 hours. Arlette, thanks for joining us here on the Big 550 KTRS. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, so what did President Trump actually do yesterday? Well, the president, uh, after days of saying that he could not do this on his own and the family separations on the, his own, the president did just that by signing an executive order saying that families uh, will be kept together uh, after they're apprehended at the border. But there's still a lot of questions about how exactly this policy will be implemented and that particularly as it relates to the 2300 kids who have already been separated from their parents since May. The administration hasn't really explained how or when these kids will be reunited with their families. There was a little bit of mixed messaging yesterday. There was an official who said that these kids would not be grandfathered into the policy. HHS later came back and said that person misspoke and that it's too early to tell uh, how exactly this entire process will play out. But uh, many people are wondering what's going to happen to those kids who have already been separated from their parents. Will they uh, remain uh, in HHS uh, custody right now? Will they be uh, sent to other family members who might be in the U.S. or found foster situations? Uh, so a lot of questions there. There's also the questions of where they're going to detain, where they're going to hold all of these detained uh, families. Uh, they need to figure out what facilities they'll be in and how long they'll be able to hold them for. So the administration still has a lot of uh, unanswered questions that they need to address. Today. There's also, this was a policy change, and that's important to note. This was a policy right. change that the president made. But now there is a law or a sort of settled law that they're only allowed to hold these children for 20 days. What's this all about? That's right. This all goes back to something called the Flores Settlement, uh, which was a settlement after a lawsuit uh, decided in the 1990s. And then there have been subsequent court rulings that have basically established that, bottom line, children can only be held for 20 days. And so the administration is going to challenge that uh, ruling. Uh, it, they're going to challenge that tr Right now, they would, they haven't determined exactly how long they will be holding these kids for, uh, but it's certainly going to face a legal challenge uh, from folks as these families start to near the 20 days that they've been held, uh, because right now they, they can't be held longer than that. I know it's awful convoluted, but why can the kids now, these 2,300, be held for more than 20 days? They didn't, they're, that's a weird juxtaposition, right? These other kids can't be held. But these kids can be held for over 20 days? Yeah, and that's a that's a question for the administration to answer is how exactly uh, these how long these kids who have already been separated will be held. Now, when we say held, you know, the kids are put into into custody for with HHS. And what happens is HHS tries to go through a reunification process where they're either matching up the kids uh, with family members already in the U.S., trying to find them foster care or if that can't can't be um, reached, then they take them to these facilities to try to find the least way uh, to disrupt these kids. So still a lot of questions about how exactly uh, the administration is going to get around this 20 day limit uh, when that's currently what's in place. Yeah. Uh, Arlette Signs, ABC News correspondent at the White House. Still lots of questions. Thanks yes. for trying to uh, help us out here.